critters and that's because your tent is inundated with many of these eight-legged critters they are all over the place i feel like we've put james in harm's way the last few weeks by leaving him in here for such long periods of time they are literally spiders everywhere so i think we might have to do a little bit of a clean out trying just to get james a little bit safer but what we've got here is a green lynx spider now i actually hadn't seen too many of these well never had seen one until a few well, about a week ago and then James Richard if you're watching he suggested that it might be a green link spider and it was on the dash of my vehicle and since then I've actually seen three or four of them so it seems like they are coming out quite a bit now and they really are a sort of beautiful color they've got this lime green color to them and very difficult to spot and probably why I've never noticed them is because I haven't really been looking for them that hard when you're on sort of bushwalk with guests very many people don't actually like spiders very much at all and so you find you don't look out for them that much and especially inconspicuous spiders like this that camouflage so well so that green color is perfect particularly on these young leaves of this buffalo thorn you can see where the light is hitting just over there that it's a very similar shade of green and it makes it quite tough to see and you'll find that this particular spider probably doesn't have that much venom and that's why um, you'll see that it has a better coloration and camouflage than something like the orb web. The orb web is much larger, big venom glands, and therefore it can be out in the open and not have to worry, whereas a small spider like this is going to have to be in a place where it can camouflage very well. But look at how long its legs are. They've got massively long legs in relation to the size of their body and a complete different shape to what we saw on the Salticidae. day. Don't worry, Ferg. He is a fairly mobile character moving around quite a bit and like I say it's got a complete different shape it's got a much more elongated sort of look to it long long legs and I would imagine because that spider is far more mobile in terms of running and using its legs as opposed to the jumping spider that we saw just now the Salticidae that uses that jumping motion to get from place to place so they've got short stocky legs to be able to jump whereas these guys are probably runners and so the longer their legs the quicker they can traverse across these tree branches and ground areas and stay out of trouble and away from predators so very very cleverly designed that's for sure the other thing that the spider has done very very well is that it's sitting on a buffalo thorn now buffalo thorns are trees that are covered in thorns you can see there's quite a few of them around the spider so it'll make it a lot more difficult for prey animal or predators to get to this spider so you'll find things like birds they're going to battle to perch on here it's also right at the end of the branch where the the branches are quite sort of supple so it's not going to support the weight of a large predator like a bird and therefore the spider can actually hide out now Fergie's come around onto the leaf on this side and is trying to hide from you there we go but you can see how when Ferg moves it moves so it's definitely got a very very good sort of perception of where everything is and how everything moves now I think it was machine gun was that it's Chantal, I know Chantal fed me a question, but I forgot the name. I do apologize, Chantal. If you can just tell me who it was. Machine Gun Ned. Why are some spiders blind? So we're now just seeing how this one reacts to movement through its eyesight. Well, you'll probably find those spiders that are blind are in areas where there is very little light. So you'll find like cave dwelling spiders or spiders that live under rocks and those areas. They're not gonna be able to see because, well, there's no reason to see. If it's pitch black, there's no need for you to have eyes. They'll have other sensory parts of their body. So fine hairs that will pick up vibrations and varying other things. Whereas spiders like this that live out in the open, they're going to need eyesight to avoid being killed at every corner so they have to be able to see what's going on around them they won't be able to see far because a spider's eyesight doesn't work like us as people or as monkeys or primates that have binocular vision and are able to see quite far and judge depth very well but they do have lots of eyes which means they can pick up any sort of threat within a close vicinity and then move away from it so the spiders that are blind like i say will be in places where there's very little light and therefore no need to actually see more of a sort of way that they need to be able to actually feel things so you'll find much bigger sensory hairs that they'll have on their bodies that they can then pick up what's going on right it is nice to be out in the sunshine i'm very, very